don't stop. What's up, Fancy Beauties and Bowls? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time coming through, my name is Gina. Welcome, and it's a great pleasure to meet you. So hopefully, you go ahead and stick around by clicking that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos from me, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm coming in to do a makeup look, and... Let me tell you, just, just right off the bat, I have been <sighs> struggling with trying to get the, the look to come together. I mean, no matter what colors that I try, no matter what palette I try, it's just, it, 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 it goes to the left and I can't get it back. So, you know, I guess that was kind of one of the reasons why I started doing the DIYs because I sometimes have to just break away from the makeup. But while we're talking, I'm going to work from the Morphe 35M palette. And I was actually trying to do a look from this palette when I first got it. So... I've already used this palette a couple of times. I have my thoughts on it and we'll get into that later. But I don't know. I just, I was feeling like I was not deserving to be on YouTube. Like I wasn't talented enough. I wasn't pretty enough. And, you know, I... I I don't have many people to talk to about YouTube. Um, I have one coworker, and um, he's on the gaming side of uh, YouTube. And, you know, I have him to talk to. So, you know, he kind of understands because he, you know, does the editing and uh, making other videos and things like that. I'm using my uh, camouflage, uh, my oldie but goodie. And I'm going in with that color right there. But, you know, I so I can talk to him, right? About, you know, the numbers and, you know, how I'm feeling and just everything. So I have, do have him to, to have for my outlet, right? But, you know, I've been on here, what, seven years, eight years? And... The devil try to get in your head and, and try to tell you, you know, you need to quit. And, you know, you're only getting these many views. You have these many subscribers and, you know, only a handful, only a little bit is watching. Only like 10% is watching. Um, so, you're not really doing anything. You're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. And so... Um, I was starting to let him get in my head, you know, and starting to think, you know, yeah, maybe it is time to pull away. You're not going to get where you want to be, blah, blah, blah. And then I had to remember, and I had to talk with, with the Lord. And um, so I'm going with this color first. And then I'll go into maybe this color or in this color. So I'm just going to layer those into my transition shade. Now, with this palette, I did get some brushes. I used the brushes already because, yeah, I was trying to do the whole thing for you guys. Um, but I did want to tell you guys about the Afterpay. Morphe was the first one I noticed that has this program and what it simply is is that you pick out whatever products that you want Give them a credit card that you want them to debit Your monthly payments from that way you can go ahead and get You know the items that you want. So I do like it. This is my second go around with after pay with them and you can go ahead and switch up 
what form of payment you want to use and they're going to send you an email and let you know you know when the when the payment is coming out so you can be prepared that way if you do need to switch your form of payments you'll have enough time to do that um so i do like the service it's really really awesome and also color rain has after pay uh, on their site as well so i just wanted to go ahead and plug them really quick but you know i had a talk with with Lord, with my God, and, you know, he, he reminded me, well, what did you start the channel for? You started the channel because you wanted to reach people, because this was your outlet. This was something that you were passionate about. And don't lose focus of that. Right? <laughs> and I've, I've said this time and time again you know a lot of people on youtube have, have said it because you know we get frustrated it's it's hard to put your all in in your craft and put your all in your passion and feel like you're not getting back what you put into it but we have to remember YouTube wasn't based off of sponsorships. It wasn't based off of um, money. It wasn't based off of any of that. It was based off of connecting with other like-minded people um, and sharing your knowledge, right? Whatever facet that may be. And... It slowly started to get away from that. It slowly started to move uh, towards where we are now, right? So, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to go in with uh, da, 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 this color here. Yeah, if you can see it right there. And I'll put all the, the names uh, next to what I'm using. So, so far I used Peachy King uh, and Talk Dirty. And now I'm going into uh, Face of the Day. Like, stuff like that. Like, I, I want to go back to days where we did Face of the Days and where we did Outfits of the Days and you know, things like that. So I've been thinking maybe to um, go ahead and start doing that. Um, you know, you can still do your sponsorships and what have you. But I just want to have a small piece of YouTube the way it used to be. Like, why does that have to go away? Why does all of that have to disappear? It shouldn't. And so, guys... You know, I just, I was in the dumps. I was, you know, just feeling a little down on myself and just kind of questioning myself. But you know what? The the 10% of my fancy beauties and balls that watch my video, I'm just going to keep giving you my all. And whoever jumps aboard and whoever comes along and joins the fancy family and start, you know, being active on the channel, then they can they can get a part of it too, you know, and and experience someone that's genuine, someone that is in it to please and to uh, empower and to just make you feel good about yourself, you know. So if whatever else comes behind that, cool. I'm not going to change. You know, I've seen a lot of people that have reached uh, a large plateau on their channel. And, you know, little small things start to, to go away from the channel. You know, they may start to incorporate, you know, cursing. When they weren't an advocate, they were totally against cursing on their channel. And now, 
you know, here they are giving the devil the glory that God gave them. And it's like, come on, man. You know, you can have your sponsorships. You can have your, your millions of subscribers. You can have your nice homes and cars and all these fabulous trips. But don't forget how you got there. You got there by the grace of God. You got there because you have faithful subscribers who pushed you up and and they may have subscribed to your channel because you didn't curse or because you weren't this extra person that you are now. You know, um, I, granted, the more you come in front of the camera, the more comfortable you're going to become the more your personality, your true personality is going to come through. And maybe, <laughs> maybe that's just what just happened. All right. Maybe you weren't cussing because you were trying to get people to come to your channel so that you can be boosted up. So I'm going to let y'all figure out the rest of where I'm going with that. Okay. My thing is... Don't leave God behind because now you feel like you're successful and you don't need him anymore. Because guess what? He got you there. He can, he can bring you back down and you don't want that. You work too hard to get where you are. And this is not only on YouTube. This is in your, your everyday life. This is in your nine to five job. This is on your, your nursing job. This is on your, you know, uh, real estate company. This is in your, your hair extension company. This is your makeup line. This is whatever it is that you've opened. Your daycare, your um, boutique, whatever it may be. Don't forget, who got you there? And that's what I had to remember, you know, yeah, Gina, you putting in all this work, you got all this equipment, you know, you you make sure you try to make sure your lighting is good, blah blah blah. And here you're still in the in the double digits for your views. It's okay though. Because anything worth having is worth waiting for and working for. So, I will continue to uh, put out what videos that I do. I'm going to always make sure that they're of quality. So even if I, if I don't have a, um, a schedule right now, it's okay. Because you, you guys know that I have a little one and you know, he comes first. So now I'm going to dip back into uh, face of the day and I'm going to take some of that uh, power slayer as well. And that color looks like this right here. All right. So I'm going to dip into those and bring that over here. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get that off me because... I, I'm not one that can hide how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. My face tells everything. My personality will tell everything on how I'm feeling. And one of my uh, fancy beauties saw it. And she was like, mm, you, you don't seem so happy. You know, you seem kind of down. And when I read that comment, I was like, huh? I'm like, no, nah, I feel fine. I feel good. But whatever's in your subconscious will come out. Even if you not even seeing it like that, it will come out. And so that's what she saw. And so I want to thank you, uh, Fancy Beauty, for get, giving it back to me, okay? Um, let's go into, hmm, 
hot stuff. We're going to go into hot stuff. Uh, and that's this color right here. So we're going to just go ahead and go in there. And I'm going to apply this with my finger. I uh, found that the some of the shimmer colors, like the that green one up at the top, the second color over, that shimmer one, uh, Pop Star is the name of that one. And then I used um, Indie Glow Queen. Um, that's the one at the bottom. But the Pop Star one, that one didn't show up really good at first until I went in with my finger and applied that on uh, with my finger. Uh, so yeah and then of course you guys know you can always use the spray just go ahead and wet your brush and that'll help pop it as well but I, I just wanted to see you know what it was gonna do without doing that right so we want to know what we're working with alright so I'm pretty much done with you know my inner thoughts and you know what I've been going through um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about <clears throat> the palette uh, I am getting some kickback on the palette the first the first colors that I tried to use were those top greens and I'll go ahead and show those to you right now so it was these colors here these ones gave me the most kickback, so if you can kind of see where it's dusty, um, that's where I got my kickback from. So, yeah, you will get uh, some kickback. But I did not experience any fallout, which is a good thing, always. This color is showing up really nicely. And I have to say, majority of the colors that I used, those are coming up uh, really pigmented. And I wanted to get the, the Vault collection. Uh, and I still may, but I found that most of the colors that's in the Vault it's actually in this palette so I don't know if you know if that is from if this palette is an inspiration from the Jaclyn Hill palette or vice versa uh, so yeah I, I don't know I'm not gonna speak about that because I try to remain positive about everything you know even if if whichever way it went down, I like Morphe. I like their products. Um, you know, as long as you're not out of line with anything, I, I'm a rock with you. You know, and what I mean by out of line with anything is, you know, doing any type of racism or things like that. You start doing that, I'm about to cut you off because I don't, I don't promote that. And I don't want to see it, and I'm not going to support it. So, yeah, as long as none of that stuff goes on, we good, you know. So, yeah. And I'm going to leave that alone before I get carried away. So, here's the look, guys. I wanted to go for something um, fallish, but also um, at work we are celebrating breast cancer awareness so we get to wear jeans all week and um yeah so another video even behind that i got a story behind that i had some pink or uh, that blonde hair that i that i reviewed over here on the channel i <laughs> i went ahead and did the watercolor <clears throat> and i i think i'm a I'll just go ahead and put some clips in over here just so you can see it. That method does work, all right? And I will be trying that method again 
and I will be using that method from here on out to, you know, get my, my uh, colors for my units together. So if you were wondering if it works or, you know, if everybody hyping it up, it's not a hype. It does work. I like it. I love it, actually, because it saves a ton of time. It saves a ton of money because you won't have to spend so much money on, you know, color. And it's super simple. All right, <laughs> y'all know I struggle with eyeliner. I don't, I don't know what it is, but when I do it on camera, <clears throat> excuse me, it it just goes to the left. So I don't know. We did pretty good with this one though, right? Um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and put the lashes on, and. Uh, Actually, y'all should be proud of me because today I don't even have to rush, right? So I've been uh, getting a little routine together. I don't lay back down when I get the baby off to school. I go ahead and stay up um, so that I can get things done, you know, video-wise, house-wise. And... Um, it's actually working out, you know. But yeah, you guys know green is my favorite color. And when I couldn't get that makeup look to work, I was like, <laughs> I was going through over here, okay? And I'm just like, okay, yeah. Need to go sit down because it ain't working. <laughs> um, we're going to try these. It's number 47. <clears throat> Just to do something simple. Only because I got that dramatic wing. I wasn't trying to go there. <laughs> but you saw... And start going now. I really don't like these because they're so flimsy. One of my lashes, I lost it. I don't know where the heck is at, but this one, I lost it. The uh, Miss Express lash, and I like those. And I freaking set up here and lost them. All right, let's try um, the Wet and Wild ones again. These were a fail before, and it might have been my fault because, yeah, these feel a lot better. Because I didn't let the glue dry on it good. Yeah, we're going to go with these. So, yeah. But, I don't know. I just wanted to talk to y'all and just kind of... Clear the air, so to speak. And there's so much that I want, I would like to share with you all. You know, it's, you know, like when it comes to the baby, you know, why I have him and things like that. But, um, I, I have to keep something to myself 
you know, because it's other people involved. If it was just me, child, you already know. I'll tell you what it is. But I cannot do that. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, we basically kind of done with this video. So, I'm going to get the lashes put on and um, get the face done. And I believe we'll be modelization ready. <laughs> Deserving of modelization time. Because that's how I am. If the look ain't right. Modelization time ain't happening. Yeah, but I was looking back on some of my old videos. And I couldn't have done my modelization on those. They were not <laughs> modelization approved. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Get my tools. Get my tools ready. Take a deep breath. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now, see, y'all know I can't see. Why y'all didn't tell me that line wasn't right? I had to turn the... I had to turn the mirror over to the, you know, to the other side. That let you see everything. All right. Now we ready. All right, guys, so I finally got the lashes to adhere and behave. So we're going to go in with foundation and I finally picked up <clears throat> the Milani foundation. Looks like this and it's two in one concealer and the foundation. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting on the, my moisturizer. Get ready for the primer. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild. I like the I like this formula of the Wet n Wild. So if you haven't picked that up, you were wondering about it. I like it. It's good. Has a nice fragrance to it. It's not overpowering perfume. It's real subtle. So some of us are sensitive to smell. So that's why I try to include that in any review that I do. So you know. And it feels really nice on the skin. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go in with the Milani. Give it a shake, shake, shake. This is my first time using this, so I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, this is in color... Where's my color? 11A. It's nutmeg. Seems a lot like. <laughs> Not a little, but a lot. We're going to keep going because maybe it'll oxidize. I often wonder, you know, why you guys watch me. The ones that comment and are active on my channel 
Can y'all tell me why y'all watch me? I just want to know. I'm just curious. I love doing my makeup in the steps that I do it in. Because once I finish the eyes and then I put the makeup on, the foundation, it's just like, ooh! <laughs> it just brings it all together. You know, just in my opinion. Because I know a lot of um, people do it the other way. They put the foundation on first and then, and then do their eyes. I used to do that a long time ago. I used to put the foundation on first. And that was before the brow thing and YouTube even. Um, but I would do my eyes first. Or my, put my makeup on first. My foundation on first. And then I put eyeshadow. And we didn't do all the, there was no blending and blah, we just put one color. <laughs> So y'all know how old I am, right? <laughs> That's how far I go back. All right, so that's this. It, I like it. It's giving me mm, snatched, honey. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, but I like it. It looks good. Tell me what y'all think. All right, so let me go off camera and finish doing everything else. Um, cause I got a contour because it's so light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and contour and probably do some underneath the, um, highlighting underneath the eyes. And I think I might not put any makeup, you know, eyeshadow under on my lower lash line. So stay tuned. I'll be back with my realization. Okay.